Hey YouTube, this is Nerdles, and today for my 25th review, I thought I'd do something special. So today I have the DX Gokaio from Kaizuku Sentai Gokaiju. Um, so, anyway, here's the front of the box. You've got a picture of the um, Gokaio right here. The five pirates here. You've got Gokai Red, Gokai Green, Gokai Pink, Gokai Blue, and Gokai Yellow. Um, down here, DX, and I think it says Gokai O here. I'm not sure. I can't read Japanese. Uh, cool metallic sticker here. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Then, the uh, logo for Gokai Jir up in the corner. You've got the five vehicles that form the Megazord right there, or Mecha. Because it's Japan. On the side, shows a picture of Gokaio. Um, shows how the dial on the back works to open the compartments. Um, shows you what it comes with in this set. On the back, got some uh, pictures of the vehicles for it, the Gokai machines. Picture of it firing the cannon, even though it doesn't really fire, but it's cool animation. Down here shows how to work the dial again. Um, shows you the first uh, thing available in this line, which is the Magi Dragon from Magi Ranger, or Maho Sentai Magi Ranger, which will probably be Fireheart from Mystic Force. Then more pictures of the Gokaio and everything. And then on the side, shows you um, what ranger corresponds to which, in case you're colorblind. And then the um, name of the um, mecha, the individual mecha. So that's kind of neat. On the top, you've got a picture of Gokai Red with his uh, Gokai Saber and Gokai Gun. Uh, the 35th anniversary logo for Super Sentai up in the corner and another picture of the Gokai O on the bottom. Okay, before I get to the review, I do want to note that I got this um, Daiso card with it. Um, so I don't know if it's important or whatever, but just kind of cool to note. So we'll start with the Gokai Sub which is Aims or Gokai Pink's Zord. So it's fairly basic. They all have little rolling wheels on the bottom. Uh, nice uh, silver painted Gokaiju symbol there. Nice gold paint on the front of it. And yeah. So, oh, slide this out of here. I think I could fit that over there. Okay, next we will bring in the other leg, the Gokai Trailer, which is kind of like a, a um, looks like a truck but with a treasure chest kind of on the top of it. So, again, kind of bland, but gets the job done. And a bunch of little wheels on the back. So. Next, we have the Gokai Jet, which looks fairly nice and everything. You got a big gun on the front of it, um, kind of like a fighter jet, but a bulky one. But that's for the action features for this. And the fins that will become the helmet later on. And some nice silver paint around it. Last of the smaller ones. You got the Gokai Racer. Which, the wheels aren't metallic, but they're a nice shiny silver. Glossy black on the sides here for the windows. Or whatever. Yes, the window's up there. Um, the, uh... What's the motor in this form will become the 
hand in the next. And um, these are plastic wheels. They're not rubber or anything. And then go kite your symbol on the bottom. So now we will bring in the star of this review. The Gokai Galleon. Captain Marvelous's ship. So this looks really sweet and this is basically also their main means of transportation for the series because they're space pirates and everything so you're pirates you need a galleon. You got really cool sails on the top of it. And it's a fairly good representation from the show of it. And there's the dial that you'll use. And it does roll. So, okay. So to bring this together into the Megazord mode, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in all the Zords. We'll start with pink. And this will become the right leg. So what you want to do is grab this part right here and just fold it forward, fold that part back. Stand it up and you're done. The go Kai trailer, you gotta separate this part. There's a kind of a clip there. You just wanna clip it onto the bottom like that. We'll set those right here for a minute. They fall over, they fall over. Next, we'll do blue. Take this part off and set it aside. It just clips on the top. Fold the wings down. I'm gonna flip it over and fold the little wheels up. And there is the right arm. We'll take green. I'll fold the hand up and take the wheels and rotate them around down here till they click into place. Do the same on this side. Okay, so the last thing you want to do is go Kygalian. So you want to fold this part down here and then we're gonna take all these panels and just fold them back so it looks like that. Then we're gonna separate the top, pull this that out and set it to the side. We'll spin this around. Spin the so for the flag. You're going to turn it um, 180 degrees and then collapse it on itself. Collapse the bottom one. Then open the top to reveal the head. And the head's got like a. He looks like he's got long hair and um, kind of like a bandana on with the. Um, go kite your logo on it. But anyway, you just peg these into the bottom like that. Just standard pegs, basically. I mean, they're a little different, but it's the same concept. And just peg them on the sides and take the swords, separate them. This one. We'll go on the um, Gokai Racer. And this one, you're going to fold it up basically to make a little handle. And then clip it on the this side. Now, you can also, while well, I'm this far, if you don't want to store the swords there, there's two little clips right here so you can just take it over and you can I'll bring it over on this side I guess maybe and you can connect it so anyway I'm going to take that off for now anyway and set it aside and we'll bring in the last piece of the Gokaio the helmet and what you want to do is um, the helmet you want to spread spread them as far as you can but still be able to connect it and there is the 
Go KO. Ba how this works is there's this dial on the back. When you turn it, panels start to open up and everything. So, let me crank it all the way to the top and we'll. And there's two ways you can do this. Um. Oh, shit. There's, um. You go one at a time, or if you push it just to the right here, it'll pop everything open. But. Anyway. So basically, I'll show you what it looks like from the front. And, um, basically, just turn it, and I'll turn it one at a time, and all the compartments on this are empty, except the center one, which has a little spring-loaded cannon. So, yeah, that's kind of cool, um, which does eject. There's a little switch right here on Gokayo, or on the back of all the little um, compartments. There's a little switch that you'd use to eject any of the greater power things. And as you can see, then you've just got a big old empty cabinet, uh, an empty compartment. But yeah, it's pretty well detailed and everything, and it looks pretty sweet. So. I am planning on getting some more of the mechs to review. I've had this for a while. I just get sidetracked on my collecting a lot of times. I'll start trying to grab something else and then I'll come back to it six months later or whatever. So, um, if you can get a hold of this, go ahead and pick it up. Um, it's a really great mech and it's one of the best ones I think they've done in a few years. It's kind of bulky, but it's, um, I can overlook that because of all the add-on packs they release for this, so that's always nice when they do stuff like that. Okay, I think that does it for today, so thanks for watching, and please subscribe, and this is Nardle signing out.